The leatherback turtles are a critically endangered species and their continued decline calls for an urgent need to develop effective conservation policies. However, little is known about their early life cycle of the turtles from when they hatchling leave the nesting grounds to when they return as adults to lay their eggs. In fact, scientists have named this period of their life cycle the lost years. The leatherback turtle are the largest living sea turtle in the world and also one of the oldest. In the Pacific Ocean, leatherback turtles divide into two populations, a western population and an eastern population. The western population has nesting ground beaches in Papua, Indonesia and Solomon Islands and forage across the Pacific all the way to the coast of North America. In contrast, the eastern population nests in the Mexico, El Salvador and Costa Rica beaches and forage all the way into the South Pacific. An interesting feature of the eastern population is that the turtles are very selective in choosing their nesting beaches. With the many beautiful beaches that are available along the coast of Mexico, El Salvador and Costa Rica, the leatherback turtles seem to prefer specific beaches like the one called Playa Grande in Costa Rica. For many generations, every winter, the big leatherback come to lay their eggs at Playa Grande. Scientists have now asked the question, why is Playa Grande special? In a recent study reported in the Proceeding B of the Royal Society, scientists suggest that the answer lies into the early life cycle of the hatchling, the so-called lost years. Once the egg hatch, the hatchling's struggle to survive begins as they try to avoid the many natural predators on the beach, including the humans. They begin their journey in the open ocean where they will find the necessary food. However, as they enter the ocean, the hatchling have not yet developed their swimming abilities and they are at the mercy of the ocean currents and the many predators that populate the coastal oceans. Scientists believe that beaches like Playa Grande in the eastern Pacific are special for the hatchling and that the ocean currents around these beaches transport the hatchling away from the coast into the open ocean where there are fewer predators and the hatchling have a higher chance of survival. Using a set of ocean model simulations like in this movie, they show that the hatchling leaving from Playa Grande, here depicted in red color concentrations, are very likely to be entrained in large oceanic vortices, also referred to as ocean eddies. These eddies are very effective in carrying the hatchling away from the coast into the deep ocean where their chances of survival are higher. These oceanic eddy pathways serve as hatchling highways and may explain why the leatherback have selected over generations beaches like Playa Grande as their nesting grounds. Given that few beaches have access to these eddy pathways, it perhaps becomes more important that policymakers put in place policies to preserve and protect these beaches from human use. This study, which appeared in the preceding B of the Royal Society, was conducted by a diverse team of marine biologists and physical oceanographers, like Dr. George Schillinger at Stanford University, Dr. Emanuele Di Lorenzo at Georgia Tech, Dr. Stephen Bograd from NOAA, Dr. Jim Spotilla from the Leatherback Trust, Dr. Helen Bailey at University of Maryland, Dr. Heliot Hazem from NOAA, and Dr. Hao Luo from Georgia Tech.